Hello there. You are listening to the Itzy Pitsy edition of the Hungarian Living Podcast on getting started with genealogy. Well, hello. Welcome to the Hungarian Living Podcast. I'm your host, Elizabeth Sabovas. Our goal is to discover, celebrate, and share Hungarian heritage and encourage you to do it too. We'll touch on food, travel, history, music, language, genealogy, and share stories from our guests. We're glad you're here. This is a podcast where we'll explore Hungarian heritage in a variety of ways. We'll introduce you to some fun people and organizations who love their Hungarian heritage and share some great resources with you so you can get connected to your Hungarian heritage in a deeper way. So whether you know a little or a lot about being Hungarian, this is the place to be. Welcome back. This is part five of the Itzy Pitsy podcast on getting started with genealogy. As you keep doing these assignments, you may be noticing that you are gathering some answers, but these answers may also be bringing some questions to mind. When you have a question, write it down. Maybe your questions have to do with why your family came to the place they settled. Why did they leave their country of origin? How did they travel? What was it like to be in a new place without extended family around? Today's assignment is for you to track down the full names and birth dates of your maternal and paternal grandparents. In fact, write down anything you know about them. Did they have siblings? What kind of work did they do? Did you ever meet them? Once you start working on your grandparents and learning about their family of origin, you are starting to make connections with extended family. Are there people who are alive and in your family tree, but you haven't hardly heard a thing about them? Sometimes family members get lost when there is a death or divorce, but sometimes there are family disagreements. And sometimes there are situations that are so big and so unresolved that there is a permanent break in the connection. Of course, these people are still related, but there is no relationship. And unfortunately, these rifts can last for generations. Sometimes the separation is warranted, and sometimes it is just about some pride and stubbornness, and it completely changes the family structure. If you bump into something like this in your family, tread lightly, but see if you can get to the root of it. If you are seeking to understand, you might get some answers. And if you want to do a little digging and reconnect, well, you might want to do that quietly at first. It may not be so well received. But there may be some unexpected treasures in the hands of the siblings of your grandparents or their children. Let's say you have a grandfather and he had two siblings. It's quite possible that Photos of your grandfather or letters from him to his parents might be in the hands of the children of one of his siblings. Go ahead, ask me how I know. Well, if you tune in to episode 48 of the Hungarian Living podcast titled Pictures and Old Letters, you will hear about how we came upon some amazing treasures on my husband's side of the family. And I'll put a link to that episode in the show notes. Of course, it is always tricky to be in the business of restoring family connections, but I think there can also be beauty in burying the hatchet. Sometimes the one who has done the offending isn't even alive or doesn't even know the extent of the damage they caused. And true, they may not even care. But it is just something to think about as you are working through genealogy things. You are bound to run into something like this in your family tree. Be sure to check out thehungarianstore.com for more resources as you explore your Hungarian heritage. And stay tuned for part six of the Itzy Pitsy edition of the Hungarian Living Podcast on getting started with genealogy. Do you want to learn the Hungarian language, Hungarian history, or learn how to research the Hungarian side of your family? We've got you covered. Check out all our learning opportunities as well as meaningful books and gifts at thehungarianstore.com. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode of the Hungarian Living Podcast, please share it with someone you know who loves their Hungarian heritage. If you own a business and would like to talk about sponsoring an episode of the podcast, please contact us at podcast at hungarianliving.com for more information. Special thanks to Stephen Chichek and the Animal Cannibals for the show music. Check out our show notes for links to resources mentioned in this episode. If you have a question or comment, we'd love to hear from you. We'll catch you next time.